So if you're trying to buy a Nokia smartphone in the 10,000 rupee price range, you will find the Nokia 5.1 Plus, which is a pretty nice device. But Nokia recently also announced the Nokia 3.1 Plus that also comes at the same price tag. The 3.1 Plus is priced at 11,499, which is around 11.5K. And the Nokia 5.1 Plus comes at around 11,000 rupees. Both the phones have very similar specifications. They have the same display resolution as well. You're watching India Today Tech, I'm Rahul Sethi. And let's take a look at the two phones that Nokia has announced at the same price tag within just two weeks. So the Nokia 5.1 Plus is a very exquisitely designed smartphone. And for the price tag, we said in our review as well that it's a very amazing device. At least to look at in the first place, you'll see there is a notch display. It has glass back and rounded corners on its frame. Overall, the phone looks very pretty. It's very handy as well and gives you a very premium feel. The 3.1 looks like a completely different phone. It doesn't have a notch at all. Comes with thin bezel design and has a plastic looking back. Though Nokia says it's made out of aluminum and it's coated with a plastic like material to give it a matte finish. But there are very subtle and important differences apart from the look of the phone. You'll see the Nokia 5.1 Plus comes with a hybrid SIM slot while the 3.1 Plus comes with a triple slot that allows you to add two SIM cards and a micro SD card as well. And since both phones come with 32 GB of internal storage, it helps to have an expandable storage card slot. Next, the 5.1 Plus will give you a Type-C USB port while the 3.1 Plus still has a micro USB port. Otherwise, most of the ports are very similar. You get single speaker at the bottom alongside the primary mic, a secondary microphone at the top with 3.5mm headphone jack, dual cameras at the back and fingerprint scanner. Ergonomically, of course, the 5.1 Plus is a better phone. It looks good as well. But when you start using the 3.1 Plus, you'll feel that it's also a nice phone. It's light, it's sturdy and it also gives you a great feel in the hands, but though it's slightly bigger. Now, if you take a look at the display, both phones come with an IPS LCD panel that has a 720p resolution but there is a slight difference in the color tone. You'll also notice that the 3.1 Plus display also has a color shift. Performance on both these phones are very similar, but we found that on the 5.1 Plus to be slightly more smoother and more power efficient. So while playing games, you'll see the battery drains faster on the 3.1 Plus, which shows that its chipset, the Helio P22, is not as efficient. Now, if you take a look at the cameras, both phones have same specifications, that is, the rear camera on both phones have a 16 megapixel primary and a 5 megapixel secondary sensor and at the front they have an 8 megapixel shooter but the results were surprisingly different if you take a look at the rear camera shots you'll see the 5.1 plus has better tone quality to our surprise we found many of the images taken in low light or artificial light from the 3.1 plus turned out to be better but whatever it is we found the nokia 3.1 plus photos to be slightly much more usable compared to the 5.1 Plus. Same goes with the front camera, although the color reproduction on the front camera is better on the 3.1 Plus. Coming to the battery part, the 3.1 Plus houses a bigger battery, which gives better battery backup. We got about one day of backup from the 5.1 Plus, but on the 3.1 Plus, it lasts slightly longer, about 20% more. As for the charging, both phones come bundled with 10 watt adapter, so the charging times on both the phones are more or less very similar. So overall, on paper you will see that the 5.1 Plus and 3.1 Plus are very similar phones. They do have same heart and soul, but their bodies are very different. You'll see both phones run Android One interface, so the experience is more or less similar at the end of the day. But we found the 5.1 Plus to have more premium look and feel. On the other hand, we found the cameras on the 3.1 Plus to be slightly better. Despite these disparities and their pros and cons, the Nokia 3.1 Plus surely appears to be slightly overpriced. Let us know what you think about these phones in the comment section below and which one of them would you pick. Also, if you have liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on technology, smartphones and other gadgets like this. Thank you for watching.